For more than a year now, the Action News 5 investigators have been asking questions about a new Mid-South car company, Green Tech Automotive, and the promise of hundreds of new jobs in North Mississippi. Tonight, a man who got one of those jobs says he was instructed to do more than put together cars. He says he was told to put on a show. Here's Action News 5 investigator Michael Clark. This is Green Tech Automotive. Taxpayers loaned the company millions to land the manufacturer in North Mississippi, where the former chairman, now Virginia gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe, promised the creation of hundreds of jobs and thousands of cars. And if I can be successful and, 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 and make 10,000 cars over the next 12 months here in Horn Lake and ship them over to Denmark, that's a huge win for me, for the company, and most importantly for Mississippi. That was July 2012. Twelve months later, the Action News 5 investigators have uncovered no evidence of any major car production here, and a former Green Tech employee raises new questions about the company's operation. We were told when we first went in that we would, by Christmas, we would have already produced 100, all of them, 100 cars, and we would be in full production by the spring of 2012, was what we were told. And that never came about. The employee, who we're calling Bob, says workers built cars, then deconstructed and rebuilt them over and over again to appear as if they were working. We had had a couple photo shoots to where they would take everybody and put them out on the line and we would stand over the car with tools in our hand and look like we're, we're doing something to the car, but we wasn't doing anything. And we, they, like I say, we were told that we de they depended on these foreign investors. The company depended on these investors coming in to finance the initiative that we were doing. Our cameras weren't allowed to film close, but we did see workers on what appeared to be a production line during this exclusive visit earlier this month, a tour arranged by Green Tech after repeatedly denying our request to get inside. Plant manager Trey Agner showed us around. You have problems with them, and that's why you do them. So each car that you build is a little bit better than the last one. Both Agner and Green Tech Vice President Marion McInerney told us workers break down and reassemble the cars for training and quality control. McInerney refused to release the number of vehicles actually made here or sold last year because GTA is a private company. She would only say there are pending orders for the new 2014 My Car. We have distribution agreements that account for 30,000 vehicles over the next three years. That's pretty significant. Also significant are foreign investors who can gain U.S. citizenship for large investments in U.S. companies through the government's EB-5 program. Bob says when investors toured the facility, employees acted as if they were working. When the Chinese investor comes in, we were placed on the, on the station at our assigned workstations. We start working on the cars as if we were producing cars and sending them out the door. It was all a an act put on for these investors to make them think that we were producing and actually doing work when in fact these cars have been built six months prior to and tore apart and put on the line. McInerney denies Bob's claims that production at the facility was an act to impress investors and said Green Tech strictly follows EB-5 program regulations. Well, the production line is active every day and I can assure you that investors with the exception of July 6th of 2012 are not on site at our Horn Lake facility. EB-5 is, is one part and it's an important part of our of our strategy but not the only one. Our goal always has been with the state of Mississippi that we would create 350 jobs by the end of 2014 and those are direct jobs. McInerney says the company is one-third of the way there. Green Tech plans to move to a facility in Tunica County next year. What was just a gravel lot in June now houses a trailer and workers to begin construction. Bob hopes the latest promises hold true. We were looking forward to producing these cars and Making a name for ourselves, I mean, the whole concept behind the plant was to do something that's never been done. This is a real company. It's a building company. We have set very aggressive goals for ourselves, but we will not meet anyone's arbitrary deadline for us. Which brings us back to Terry McAuliffe, who stepped down as Green Tech chairman just four months after the company announced its plans last summer. He's now running for governor in Virginia and is just a shareholder with the company. Uh, I'm proud of what they've done. I no longer involved in the management of the company and they're running it. I'm running for governor. We'll keep asking questions.